Hello and welcome. Today we're going to talk about something very important, ectopic pregnancy. Welcome to our Enemir campus to learn differently. Let's break it down in a simple and easy way. An ectopic pregnancy happens when a fertilized egg grows outside the uterus. It most often settles in the fallopian tube, which is not built to carry a growing baby. Pathology. In a normal pregnancy, the egg travels to the uterus and grows there. But in an ectopic pregnancy, it gets stuck along the way, usually in the fallopian tube, and starts growing there instead. So what are the signs to watch out for? Sharp or stabbing pain in the lower belly or pelvis, usually on one side. Vaginal bleeding or spotting that's different from a period. Feeling dizzy or faint. Shoulder pain, especially when lying down, a sign of internal bleeding. Missed period and a positive pregnancy test but feeling unwell. If you notice these symptoms, it's important to seek medical help right away. Now what causes it? Ectopic pregnancy can happen if the fallopian tubes are damaged or blocked. There's inflammation or infection like pelvic inflammatory disease, PID. You've had previous abdominal surgery. You've had an ectopic pregnancy before. Or in some cases, it just happens without a clear reason. So what if it's not treated? An untreated ectopic pregnancy can burst the fallopian tube, causing severe bleeding, organ damage, and can even be life-threatening. That's why early diagnosis is so important. So how do doctors find out if it's an ectopic pregnancy? First, they'll do a pregnancy test then a pelvic exam to check for pain or tenderness, and an ultrasound scan to see where the pregnancy is growing. Blood tests may also be done to measure hormone levels. Now let's talk about treatment. The good news? It can be managed with two methods. One, medical treatment. If the pregnancy is small and caught early, doctors may give a medicine called methotrexate. This helps the body absorb the pregnancy tissue naturally. 2. Surgical treatment. If the pregnancy is larger or there's a risk of rupture, surgery might be needed. The doctor may remove the ectopic pregnancy through a small cut in the belly using a method called laparoscopy. In some cases, the damaged fallopian tube may also need to be removed. After treatment, your body needs time to heal, so let's look at some helpful foods. What to eat. Iron-rich foods like spinach, lentils and red meat to recover from blood loss. Leafy greens, fruits and whole grains to support healing. Plenty of water to stay hydrated. What to avoid? Processed foods high in sugar and fat. Alcohol and caffeine, they can slow down recovery. Smoking, which can increase the risk of future complications. Let's wrap it up. An ectopic pregnancy can be scary, but remember, it's treatable. Early diagnosis and the right care make all the difference. Take care of your body, eat well, and listen to the signs it gives you. And most importantly, you are not alone. With medical help and support, recovery is absolutely possible. Stay informed, stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more, and see you tomorrow with another video at same time.